What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. We have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro which is based on ColorOS. And this is the second stable version of ColorOS for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So in this video let's take a quick look what all changes they have done to the previous build of Oxygen OS 12. Before starting the video would like to thank everyone for your love and support on our previous video. We successfully completed the like target of 400 likes and let's keep the same like target on this video too. Also as you all know we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. If you are already running stable build of ColorOS on your OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro you should receive an OTA update. On my device which is OnePlus 9 the OTA update size was 108 MB. And also you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want a video guide on installing ColorOS 12 stable build on your OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro. Though you'll find a written guide in the description below, if you guys wanna try out, just follow that guide and install ColorOS 12 stable build on any of your OnePlus 9 device. Now talking about the benchmark results before taking a look at the change logs, here we have the benchmark results using Intuito benchmark application in which device have scored 7,29,027. And soon after that, I turned on high performance mode wherein device scored 7,89,271. And similar results to be seen with Geekbench application. These are the results with normal mode wherein single core scored 901 and multi core scored 3,250. And later, after turning on high performance mode, single core scored 1,117 and multi-core scores were 3371. So using high performance mode, there's a lot of difference in the performance part. But remember one thing guys, battery drain will be more while using high performance mode. As said, I've been using this build since yesterday and till now I haven't encountered any kind of issues or bugs on ColorOS 12 second stable build. On Oxygen OS 12 stable build, we had an issue of unlocking the device using face unlock wherein device screen used to blink twice or thrice. But that issue is no more to be seen on ColorOS 12. Device instantly unlocks in the first go. And fingerprint unlock is also pretty fast. And also while using the device in landscape mode, if you swipe from the right side, now the notification bar or the quick setting pops up on the right side of the device. And if you swipe from the left side, that pop ups on the left side of the device. So I guess this wasn't the case on first table build. Though I'm not exactly sure about it. But yes, I've noticed this thing after installing ColorOS 12 second stable build. Basically, this update doesn't bring any kind of new features, just few fixes over the previous update. And one of them is this data traffic monitor which was not being displayed when we used to pull down the notification panel. But here no issues to be seen while pulling down the notification panel or quick setting panel. Also there have been no issues layered to the notifications on ColorOS 12 stable build. Though on previous builds of ColorOS and Oxygen OS, we used to see that notification sometimes doesn't use to appear. But till now on ColorOS 12, I haven't noticed any kind of issues layered to notification. Next issue what they have fixed is layer to black screen of applications. Though I haven't faced that issue on previous builds also and not sure about this build too. But OnePlus have mentioned that they have fixed the black screen issue with some applications. And the last fix is layer to this data usage limit. So on the previous builds, if someone have set the data usage limit and if by chance someone exceeds the data limit, in that case they were not able to turn on the mobile data after the data limit has been exceeded. But that's not the case here, as you can see, my mobile data still works after even crossing the usage limit. So community must have given feedback about the same and OnePlus have taken care of it. So guys, these were some of the fixes what OnePlus have done to the latest build of ColorOS 12. And if you guys want me to do a complete review on this build, do let me know in the comment section below. Where we'll do a complete review and in that we'll cover almost everything like battery backup, camera performance and the gaming part. So guys this was a quick look on the new update of ColorOS 12 which is second stable build. If you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.